What's up guys, of course, welcome to another fucking Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, the Scarander. And today we're going up against Syed. Yes, this is actually a player that I lost two times before in Season 4 and 5. And yeah, this guy, uh, he's the younger brother of Verlet, and he is a very, very, very formidable battler. And I am I have a huge respect for this guy because he's a good person in general and he is very good at judgment calls. And I was generally scared going into this battle for that very reason. I have a rough time against him, and I knew the only way I was gonna win was if I played super aggressive. And I know that his team was um, cave based, so with that in mind, I was predicting Hydreigon, Ferrofawn, and Crobat. But that was all I got, so we are seeing Garchomp, Sableye, and of course, Exploit on that. Exploit is super dangerous. And also, Sableye can burn my team through. Uh, I have no idea how to deal with Sableye. I can just hope to get it on a switch in and um, hope that that works. But, oof. And uh, look for his team here. I was really predicting either Sableye or Crobat would be his lead. Uh, I myself was using a Siglip, which is Tinted Lens at this time, because I knew I couldn't stall Side out. He is too powerful to be stalled out. I need the power. And I actually had this thing scoffed in case of uh, an Hadrigan because I won't be able to speed it without, without a scoff. Um, so, of course, with all this, my guys, wish me luck. <laughs> so, yeah, this is actually, if I win this battle, I get the A4, but that would mean that I progress to Elite 4 if that were to happen. So, he's gonna start with the Ferrafawn, and ooh, while I do have the Heat Wheel on my Siglip, which is a good thing. I know that that could possibly not kill it. Well, it's four times effective, it is unstabbed, and what do you know? It lives. And actually lives quite well. And it's gonna retaliate with the Jarrah Ball, and this is gonna hurt so much. I was like, oh damn, alright, that was bad. That was real bad. And I have no idea what to go from there. Uh, I had to keep going. Since it didn't go for Stealth Rocks, I'm still in a, some kind of advantage. And like I said, I am Tinted Lensed. He's gonna switch Hydreigon, which is a great switch in. But not only do I score a crit here, I even score the burn and scorch this dragon. Siglif, what's the matter with you? Just getting in here, Tinted Lensed, like, nope, you're just gonna get it. And it did a good chunk of damage. And I'm gonna just go to Rex, predicting that, of course, monstrous Draco Meteor. Um, you know, I've gone against a guy named. Uh, into darkness before and he predicted that it went for net power so yeah, I did not do this which was honestly that's good that that's that's really good and I'm soaking that like a champ and um, consider that damage I was feeling that it feels like this thing is scoffed uh, it's not specs damage it just it couldn't be uh, even if I am assault vestige so anyway he's gonna go to our of lies and uh, this thing He's gonna take an avalanche, and I'm really debating if I should keep avalanche right now. Ice punch might be the superior choice, but I do have flame pro from this, and that's good. That's really good because rock slide or stone edge would not have killed this thing. Earthquake would not have killed it, uh, but yeah, this works, and that's good. I have that thing out of the way, and um, yeah, I'm feeling good. First Pokemon away. Uh, so he's gonna go to his Verlet, and you know, last I went against a God Chump, I know that I was, you know, I was letting it set up subs and stuff like that on me. So I decided to stay and go for an Avalanche. He should have hit me here. Uh, had he hit me, I would have lived that earthquake because it was a bulky set. But no, we get an unstabbed <laughs> or unboosted Avalanche, and he has a rocky helmet, and it just all do all kinds of damage on me. And I could have predicted them. Um, Earthquake here, but decided that I know the sand is gonna end. I rather get a fresh start with a power on and actually predict his switch up because God Chop can still kind of prevail no matter what happens. So I decided here that, like, like I said, go in for the sandstorm and then actually switch out to my Stoutland, predicting him to go into his Sableye or even his Explode or anything. He is definitely gonna go to his Explode, and that's good. Like I said, gonna switch out, and um, from this point on, I decided that it's very possible that he could switch in his Sableye to soak with my stab for the return. So I decided here, and I haven't really showed you guys my third move for the Southland, and the third move is play rough. And goddamn, 
uh, I must say, luck on my side for doing this, but the Sableye will live with a slither of health, but lucky for me, he was buffed by the sandstorm, and that is the Sableye gone. And that means I'm free to go for return because his Paraphon is gone, and his, um, his Paraphon is gone, and his, um, immunity to uh, normal move with Sableye is also gone, so I'm gonna switch into Helios here and basically soak what I was wanna go for. It's gonna go for the Brave Bird and uh, that's fine, it really is and um, I take that quite well honestly and I was predicting he had to switch out to his Verlet or Garchomp because of course a Thunder move seems very obvious from my pot and um, I know as long as he has got resistance switch-ins, there is just no way we play this thing differently. So I decided to go for Hydro Pump. And while you know I am uninvested, I was still so surprised that this Godchamp was able to live that. It lives, it you know, it fights on, and I was so sure it's gonna go for an outrage. So I did actually decided to go for a rest. And luckily for me, I guess you should say, he goes for a toxic there, so now I know. He only probably got Earthquake as his attacking move and then Silk Rock Toxic. And maybe Outrage. Not sure, not sure. And nor will I find out because I will take the God Chump with me. He's gonna go for another Toxic, you know, that's fine, you know, we can deal with that. Uh, honestly, I just need the Sand to stop going so I can switch in actually my <laughs> Stoutland yet again. But I have to reset the Sand because we got, we got some turns from now and I can't really bring out Stoutland just for the hell of it, it just, it is not possible. Um, so we'll be buffed by the Sandstorm, and uh, yeah, he's gonna bring his Hydreigon, and um, I have no switching for this, there is just no way. I have to deal with this, like I said, he's gonna go for Draco, I actually decide for some freaking reason to go for a Volt Switch. I do not see the point of that, but at the same time, I am slower, which means, you know, I will get the momentum of coming in, but... Uh, due to, I actually realized the bad damage is going to kick in, I decided to actually do a very very weird switch in here, but I I really did it for the shits and giggles. I did realize that my Sigilyph probably is not going to end well here, and uh, I basically want to kill it with the burn damage, but uh, I did not really think about the sandstorm. <laughs> so, since I am scoffed, I knew I was going to outspeed everything on his team, and I was probably trying to sweep him with my Sigilyph. But yeah, that that was not solid whatsoever. Honestly, that was that was real bad. But he's Hydreigon will fall, which is good, which is good. And I just can bring my Stoutland here, and um, yeah, I'm free to go for return. Uh, I know return gonna kill the Xbot. I know the return gonna kill his Crobat. So no matter how he pulls it, something is gonna die, and um, Crobat is gonna fall. It's the boom gone. Return for whence you came. And the sandstorm will subside. Yeah, I've been waiting for this for so long. So once it will happen, I only got one Pokemon left. If it is the scarf set that I won't be able to outspeed, I will outspeed naturally though. But I decided that I won't take any chances here. So I decided to go for him. He powered on and basically tried to take a boom burst. And I'll say try because with this damage, it's it's specs. It's very specs. And damn, it just boom gone. <laughs> <laughs> he powered on! <laughs> At least I got the Sansom up. I would have outspeeded nevertheless, so I should maybe I shouldn't have done that play, but who cares? Uh, it is a trio in my favor here, and I win actually I won't say that I won them um right comfortably, but rather I did so many overshots, I was hoping that something was gonna work that it actually led to a very good thing on my side. Like I said, the overshot with the play rough with my Stoutland might as well end it in demise, considered that Explode with a little play rough. They just there's no way he would not have or survived that. And I would not live a Specs Boom Burst, it just there is just no way I would have done that. Whew, I was so nervous going into this battle. So nervous. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, Sion is a very, very good battler, and um, me winning this one, it, well, it looks, you know, after looking at this battle, it looks pretty straightforward, but really, we both fought a lot about our moves, and um, sure, I did some good over predictions that worked in my favor, but like I said, it might as well not have done that, and I think seeing this battle again and I do realize how crazy I played but I wanted to win like 
I knew I couldn't leave side with momentum. Side would just annihilate me if he just got a glimpse of momentum on his side. And I just, I couldn't let him do that. So, Syed, like I said, thank you so much for this battle. It was incredible, and you're still in the lead against us. You still have one more win against me. So, goddamn. But I'm glad I was able to, well, get my last orb. Now I'm in for Elite Four. Whew. This was easily also the like, toughest team. Um, I will give JJ Hernandez and Staldash like, a major, major prop for their teams, because they were really tough to go up against. But Syed's team, uh, in theory was probably like the toughest team for me to deal with and the only reason I actually win is because like I said I do very very aggressive plays that luckily did work in my favor but it might as well not have done that um so yeah I want to thank you guys for watching and I want to thank Syed again awesome game man that was that was really fun and yeah I want to thank you guys for watching as always you know I'll keep you posted on the least four matches here on out and I'll actually try to go for 9th orb, but uh, we'll see when we get around to that. I hope I can do that before Elite 4. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching as always, of course. Make sure to leave a like if you like this video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember, this guy's limit, guys. Have a good day and take care, alright? Bye.